as an internationally renowned master watercolor artist, author, teacher, and world traveler, Paul Jackson's artwork has drawn top honors in national and international competitions. Originally from Starkville, Mississippi, he's made Columbia his home. I was always drawing as a child. My mother encouraged uh, any artistic behavior. Um, I was bored with everything else, so I spent a lot of time drawing as a kid. When I got in college, I had a couple of teachers that uh, were pretty good at watercolor. Took some classes, fell in love with the medium, really never looked back. I've worked in watercolor for about 30 years now. I've tried everything else. Uh, it's all exciting, but watercolor is the one that, that got me. I, I really see watercolor as the simplest medium, uh, but I guess it's all a matter of perspective. Uh, if it's hard, I really yeah, I enjoy the challenge. Uh, I, I keep getting bigger and pushing the boundaries all the time. A lot of my paintings include birds. I've always had a fascination for birds. Uh, I dream about flying all the time. Uh, I guess sometimes I am the bird in my paintings. Uh, my childhood was filled with birds. My father's an ornithologist, so we had up close and personal birds all the time. Um, when I started painting, my paintings um, really were inspired by aerial perspectives. I used to climb a lot of trees, park in garages. Uh, I trained as a hot air balloon pilot uh, as soon as I could, so I flew balloons, but sort of flying and painting and looking down at the same time is a little hard. Uh, and even taking pictures while you're flying a balloon is difficult. But uh, when I discovered the drone technology, I was addicted immediately. Uh, my wife got the first one uh, for me as a gift, and it was probably a big mistake on her part. Uh, we quickly assembled a fleet of different drones and raced across the country, flying over everything that was inspirational. And there's a lot to see. Uh, from an aerial perspective, things that you're familiar with are brand new again. Uh, so things that used to excite you and don't, look at it from an aerial perspective and all of a sudden everything is different. Uh, it was probably the most addictive hobby I've run into and now we've sort of converted it into filmmaking. Um, when they put a gimbal on the drone and it became a still shot, uh, a, a smooth video shot, uh, we started picking up that habit too. And now I'm like amassing data banks of all of this film footage from the air. Another place from which Paul draws inspiration is in his travels, as evidenced by his book, The Wandering Watercolorist. He and his wife love traveling and have made numerous trips abroad to places like China, India, Turkey, France, and Cambodia, just to name a few. I think travel is probably my first passion, and maybe I paint to travel, maybe I travel to paint, I'm not exactly sure which, but uh, I thrive on it. We, we get home for two or three weeks, work in the studio like crazy, never leave the house, but then we need that intense travel right after that, so we go and we go. I like the unfamiliar. I like the challenge. Um, I, honestly, doing the same thing every day would kill me. We have to do something different constantly. Um, bigger, better, um, bolder. I don't know, I have to keep exciting myself with what I'm painting or I probably would lose the passion for it. So far, so good. Painting is hard. Uh, painting in watercolor is, is really a challenge, but teaching, teaching what you learn in watercolor is probably the hardest thing I've managed so far. I'm still perfecting it. I teach classes, uh, workshops around the world, and we get full workshops, but I think I'm learning as much as they are as I go. Uh, being an instructor is a lot of fun. Turning the lights on for somebody and helping them understand how the medium works is as thrilling as painting for the first time yourself. Young artists are my favorite. I love working with somebody who's got lots of energy and passion, and they really don't know how hard it is to be an artist, but uh, I get to fill them up with all these great inspirations and ideas and set them free and watch them go. I love watching the lights come on for people. Uh, to hand a young artist a couple of tools and give them something to, to work with that they haven't had before is probably the most amazing feeling.